Hey everyone, it's Craig here, and in this video I just want to show you how to install and uh, set up our new AdSense WordPress plugin. The plugin will allow you to insert AdSense um, on, in all different formats um, quickly and easily into your WordPress blog. So the first thing you want to do here is log into your WordPress admin, um, go to your install plugins uh, panel, and simply search for AdSense WP, and we'll run a search for that. And our plugin is uh, the first one here, AdSense WP plugin, and uh, we've named or the name of uh, the developer is, is AdSense plugin. We did that for some SEO reasons. So um, if you see that it's by AdSense dash plugin and titled AdSense WP plugin, you'll know that's ours. Um, we'll go ahead and install that. We will activate it. Okay, and then you're going to see the plugin down here on the left uh, side panel, AdSense WP plugin. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is click on uh, Options. Okay, and in this first field, uh, you will enter your AdSense Publisher ID, and you'll only put the number in um, as as instructed here. Okay, um, then if you want to uh, enter a custom channel to track this, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, these selections here obviously um, are self-explanatory. You can disable any ads that you set up um, across the entire site for anyone, so that way ads will not show for anyone. Uh, you can only you can disable them only for administrators, which would be yourself, um, or you can able enable them only for administrators. Um, another thing I like to select here is delete data on plugin deactivate. This is great because uh, if you ever sell your site or uh, if you're cloning your site over to another blog and you don't want to have the same settings um, uh, in the database, then select this and when you deactivate the plugin, it'll erase all of the, uh, the database uh, settings, okay? So we just want to save these changes. And then next we'll want to go to uh, create new ads or create new ad. Okay, and we can name the ad here. Um, typically, uh, I, I like to name mine large rectangle if that's what I'm going to be using. And uh, you can select from text, image, or text and image. I like using only text because I, they seem to get much better uh, CTR than um, having image ads. Um, you, you don't want to reward us. Um, this is for uh, other applications. If we were to send it out um, as a promotional item, we may use this. but uh, leave that at zero so that your ads uh, are the only ones that are shown. Um, ad placement. Number of ads per page. You can select how many times this ad that you're creating will appear on the page. Uh, for this example, let's go ahead and set up uh, two. And uh, number, I'm sorry, this is for pages, this is for posts. I normally don't put ads on my pages like contact us, about us. So I'm going to put zero there, but I'm going to put two here because this is for the actual post. Um, show ads on selected selected pages. Um, I typically don't show them on home home pages, um, but I do like to show them on my uh, category and my archive pages. Now, this is where you select where what position you want your ads to show up. Remember, this is a large rectangle that we are going to create, and I like to show them um, after a paragraph of content. So, if you want to if you want to select any of these choices here, you can play with it to see how it looks. Um, but if you want to show a little bit of a snippet of content, especially with Content Revenge, this is nice because it'll just post one snippet above your first ad. And uh, that sometimes or seems to be uh, what Google um, has recently said it's looking for in terms, of, um, in terms of quality for a page. It likes to see more content uh, above the fold versus more advertisements. So this could s potentially suffice for that. Um, what Google is looking for. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put one paragraph in here and we will show this in the center. Uh, you can show it to the left if you like. Uh, I think Content Revenge it shows up a little bit better when you center this but again you can play with that and see uh, where the positioning looks best, uh, best on your site. Okay. Um, here's where you select the format, the ad format that you're going to want to use. Uh, the large rectangle again is a 336 by 280. Um, you can select whatever size you want here and you probably want to reflect that in the name here so that you know um, which, uh, ad you're, which ad format you're using. 
Um, you can select corner styles here, which if you don't use borders, this is irrelevant. You won't need that. Um, typically, uh, most AdSense uh, ad units that we're using these days do not use borders, but uh, if your site does look better with a border around the ad, then go for it. Use that here. Font family, I like to use Arial. Um, I've tested that a bit and it does seem to get better click through ratio but again that's going to vary from site to site and and depending on the design that you have on your site you're going to want to test that um, you can change out colors here for your border background title text and url um, i'm just going to go with the default here which is blue black and green um, in the advanced here you can drop that down and uh, you can add your publisher id um, for this particular ad so say you want to show different ads across your site from different from different uh, ad accounts or AdSense accounts. Maybe you have a partnership with somebody or maybe you just want to test different uh, ads. You can do that by putting in different publisher IDs for each advertisement. For this, we're not going to get that complicated. We're just going to use the publisher ID that we in entered previously um, into the, uh, uh, what section was that, into our options here. So that's going to be the global default across all of our ads. Um, Okay, so we're going to create this ad. And uh, if you see here, I'd already created some ads before. Um, I have a large rectangle navigation and a large rectangle. Um, the navigation, we'll go in there and check that out real quick. This, this screen that you're seeing here is uh, the ad section here. So if you, um, as you see, there's a few different sections here. We were just in create ad a minute ago. We've already gone to options. Um, so this one is the ad section here. Um, well, let's go ahead and look at the navigation that I created. It's uh, exactly the same as the one I created before, except a different format. I titled it as navigation. I use text. Um, we're not using this on any pages. We're running it once per post. I select all. I, I did run this on the home page. As you can see here, I ran it up above at the top. Um, because it's a different format, I wanted this to show at the very top near the header or navigation. And again, this is all up to you. You can select where to put this. It's highly customizable. You can play with it. You're not going to mess anything up. Play with it and see what looks best and uh, see what works best on the theme that you're using. Uh, okay, so this is how we've set that, that particular ad unit up. Um, if you noticed here too, when you go to ads, it gives you a short code. You can drop this little bit of short code um, individually right here if you go to a post you can drop that into the post into the editor and put it into uh, uh, the post wherever you want it to show up so um, if you see that uh, there's an area where uh, the traditional setup for this plugin is not putting the ad then go ahead and grab the short code here and drop it into the post uh, but again you can only do this one at a time it, it, for content revenge that's not going to be uh, the wise thing to do because uh, Again, you want your ads to show up across thousands of pages, and to put the ad short code into thousands of pages would not be very uh, time efficient. So that's just an option there for people that probably build out their pages by hand. It'll that'll work better for them. Okay. Um, there's also a feature here called Top Link Ad. I don't typically use this uh, often, but what it does is it creates a static link across the top of your page. Um, you can enable it here. It, it, it's just a, a link of, or a, I'm sorry, a bar essentially with ad link units in it. And uh, you can show where you want it. You can click here you want it to show up. Um, ad design, again, this is kind of what it looks like. It looks exactly like the navigation that I had created before, except it shows up in a different spot at the very top of the page uh, of your site. And uh, it's kind of cool, so play with it. And if you like that, um, go ahead and add that in. Um, you can also um, grab the code once you create that ad. If you'd like to show this in a different spot, you can copy this little code right here and go to your uh, header.php editor and uh, drop it in uh, if you know a little bit about PHP or a little bit about the uh, WordPress header.php code you can drop this into the, the place where this ad will show um, according to your customization so but you don't have to do that but those of you know of you who know what I'm talking about this makes it very easy to do that okay um, next a cool thing here for Google search um, you can set up your Google uh, you can choose to set up uh, your Google search box on your site as well um, by 
checking this box it's going to replace the uh, WordPress search box and like it says here this function works only if your theme does not have a file called searchform.php so if your file if your I'm sorry if your theme does not have this file then this by selecting this will indeed replace all of um, the uh, default WordPress search on your site with your AdSense search box okay um, but if, if you're if you're doing this manually what you can do if that if your site does have that file um, you can simply uh, title your search page here uh, you can put your URL slug in here similar to the category setup and uh, let me see I'll set this up for you I'm gonna pause this and get it set up so you can see what I'm talking about one second